ABC Sports proudly presents exclusive coverage of the national championship game. It's the grand finale of the Bowl Championship Series. The royalty of college football is in assembly at the Rose Bowl 2006. Bush, Liner, Young, and their legion. By consensus, the teams rank one and two with nary a whisper of dissent. The site for this ultimate showdown in college football is one of the famed arenas of sport, the Rose Bowl, where the festival of postseason play was started more than 100 years ago in the city of Pasadena, California. When the 2005 college football season started, all 117 Division I-A teams had high hopes this would be their year. Now two are standing unbeaten. One, the two-time defending national champions and determined to stay there. Touchdown, USA! The other, wanting to bring it back after a 35-season absence. The Southern California Trojans found out about life in the catbird seat quickly, week after week, taking the best shot from each opponent. And they beat back the challenges. And FC is right back in a bad line and scored. And the Trojans will win the ball game. In the second week of the season, Texas walked into the horseshoe for the first time against the Ohio State Buckeyes. It was a raging battle, but the Longhorns pulled it out. And the rest of the season passed without a serious threat. Say goodnight to this one. Now, the route is underway. And now there is just one game left. One game that will be as big as a college football game can be. The Southern California Trojans and the Texas Longhorns for the national championship tonight on ABC Sports. The weather is perfect, the field is fast at the Rose Bowl for tonight's ball game. This telecast available on ABC in high definition by DLP Picture Technology. The University of Texas Longhorns into the Rose Bowl. From the state capital city of Austin, the Longhorns since 1893 have won 799 football games. Only Michigan and Notre Dame have won more among Division I schools. Their 12-0 head coach is Mack Brown. Eighth season for him, the record 82-19. and 19. Now the Southern California Trojans defending national champions their 12 and 0 a 34 game win streak looking for their 12th all overall national title Pete Carroll finishing his fifth season as head coach record going into the game 54 and 9 there are two Heisman trophy went in the backfield these two teams one two you bet gentlemen Allow me to honor guests joining us for the coin toss. It's my pleasure to introduce the Tournament of Roses president, Libby Evans Wright, and her The Tournament of Roses grand marshal, Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, and her husband, John O'Connor. Justice O'Connor, please give me Wonderful. Texas has won the call. We will defer to the second half. Texas will defer to the second half. The receive. Which goal will you defend? Face that direction. Texas will receive with the North End. Now it's put up time. They kick it to him. Two yards, three yards deep in the end zone. He's coming. 
He gets to the 10, he gets to the 12, and down he goes, brought down by Robert Killebrew. And there are a lot of frontliners playing on both of these special teams, and the special team edge considered goes to Texas. Matt Leinert is the senior, 37 and 1 as a quarterback, and that should be enough to put him into the yearbook. He also has a Heisman Trophy from last season. He has 98 career touchdowns. He has all the plaques and trophies that he needs. What he wants tonight is his career best game. Wayne Jarrett, Steve Smith, and Chris McFoy are on the field. That's McFoy going in motion. And the first play of the ball game is Bush trying to bounce to the outside. And Texas was all over him. The backs and receivers for USC. Reggie Bush, as far as I'm concerned, just say wow. Dwayne Jarrett, 81 receptions with 15 touchdowns. Steve Smith is also a big timer in big games. Offensive line, I think this is a major strength of the team. Latoui, the only senior. Tackle to tackle, they are a load. Lindale White checks into the ball game now. The big back. It is second down. Second down and 12. Leinert taking his time with it. Drops straight back, throws quickly, gets the ball away to David Kirkman, the fullback out of the backfield. And Kirkman will pick it up to about, uh, about seven yards on the play. Terrell Brown, Texas defense along the front. Roderick Wright's an All-American. His tackle pal, Frank Oakham, they're both 315. Linebackers Aaron has, uh, Harris had a spectacular game last year against Michigan on this field. And the defensive secondary, this will be almost without question the best secondary that Matt Leinert and his teammates have looked at this season. It is third down and seven now. Patrick Turner checks into the ball game. He's number one. Leinert stays under center. Bush moves over. Leinert straight back. Pressure coming. Gets the pass away. Threw it as Smith was turning. And Smith turned a little short. And the ball sailed over his head. Injury. And Malone can just kill it sometimes. Sometimes he outkicks the coverage. Texas will get good field position out of this one. The reception was made at about the 43. Fumble! Texas man let go. Oh, Trojans have it. The Trojans get the football. I mean, somebody leveled Ross, and then the ball squirted out. You can't predict them, and you can't prevent them, and sometimes you can't deal with them. But let's see what happens here. Leinert's got a double wide, top of the picture, steps up, throws short, goes to Smith. Smith inside the 40, down to about 37. Smith this side, Jarrett at the top of the picture. And Bush gets it, bounces outside with it, runs over one Texan and gets it on down for a first down. He ran into Cedric Griffin, and wide out up there. And Bush is a deep man. Kirkman comes back to help him. Liner drops the throw, throws it down the sidelines. Kirkman! And he makes the catch at the Texas six-yard line. The fullback making a tough catch. Kirkman's out of the ball game. Lindale White, the big guy, comes in at tailback. He's back by himself. Dominique Bird is in an H-back position to help from the blocking. Liner keeps it, pressure coming, runs away from it. Got to throw it. Nope, he's going to go out of bounds. And he is shoved out of bounds, and that gets a penalty flag. They're going to run it with White, and Lindale walks in. Fred Matua and Brandon Hancock laid powerful blocks to open the door for Lindale White. And boy, has he rolled up some touchdowns this season. 21 on the ground coming in, that's 22, but when you look at his career, that is 55. He's just a junior, and that's a career mark here at USC. Yes, 24 this year. Here is Mario Danello now for the extra point. It's good. 
Southern California recovers a Texas fumble at the Longhorn 46 after the Texas defense had stopped the Trojans and USC accepted the turnover and stuck it in the end zone to take a seven to nothing lead at 12 minutes and 27 seconds to go in the first quarter. Van Blackham is a freshman from Orange, California, and he puts a lot of leg on it. Takes it about five yards deep into the end zone and no return. Out to the 20 it comes. The quarterback for the Longhorns is a big fellow. Vince Young, 6'5", 230 plus. A lot of swagger, but he's good. His individual numbers sewn here for this year tell you a lot. He's fighting at his size when he gets loose and starts running around. He's 29 and 2 as a starter. And as an old defensive coach once said, he ain't got no handles, but he led the country in passing efficiency this year. One of the prime reasons the Horns average better than 50 points a game this season. So here we go again. Let's see the first offensive play of the ball game for Texas. Selvin Young starting at tailback makes the carry and the backs and receiver. The tailback is a position by committee. Selvin Young's a junior and he gets the start because of the experience. But there are a lot of people that can play that position. The offensive line center Lyle Sinlin anchors a very good one. The tackle Scott and Blaylock. They'll have the best show in town when the Trojan defensive ends come calling. Big athletic and they've got an attitude. It'll be second down and five as Young picked up about five yards and Vince Young throws and it is completed across the 40 to the 42 to the tight end David Thomas Thomas at 6'3 245 a senior it Billy Pittman Juan Cosby are the three wide outs on the field Vince Young whips a shot up the field pass is completed at about the 48 yard line Billy Pittman making the catch the USC defensive front Ellison Ramsey inside a good the ends are exceptional Rucker and Jackson could be a key to handling Vince Young linebackers USC gets Keith Rivers back from injury could be a very handy addition freshman Brian Cushing starting with Lua in the middle the secondary this secondary figures to be the toughest bunch that Vince Young has looked at on this season and it's turned inside with Selden Young carrying the ball again. They're working out of the spread. Young with it. Turns it back up into the middle and dives for the first down and did not get it. Ball is on the Southern California near the 48 high pass mark. Hands the ball to Young and he didn't get it. Trojans pile him up and roll him back. Scott Ware was the first man to get him. They got four wideouts. And they bring Jarrett back toward the ball. He's the leading receiver. They throw it sideways to him. He's going to throw it downfield. Throws it to Steve Smith. It's too long. Smith had separated, but Jarrett led him by about two yards. And over the personnel of Texas is changing the play. Short drop to throw. Gets it off. Oh, what an effort by Patrick Turner. But he couldn't reel it in in front of Terrell Brown. <laughs> Third down and ten. Throw it short underneath. It's Bush, and they take him down. Three yards short of the first down. During the run, incidental five-yard face mask on the defense. Five yards results in a first down. As the single back, the clock's out of whack. It's where time is being kept for the moment done on the field by the official. And this is White carrying. Big guy. Runs over one, second one gets him. Down he goes. He ran over Terrell Brown. Hancock is the fullback. Bush, a little delay in the middle. Came flying through and the shoe came off as he tried to cut to the outside, but he's got another Trojan first down. Ball is on the 26 yard line and Lindale White's back in. Line of throws. Almost intercepted. My goodness, it was intended for Dwayne Jarrett. Ball. Steve Smith. And in motion, that gives you two wide outs on that side to go back to Bush. Bush cuts it inside. 
And he's taken down. The third and ten. Jarrett way wide up at the top. So you've got the two top receivers, Smith and Jarrett. At the top of the picture, come this way to Bush. Bush working in traffic, got away from the first man. He's down close to the 17-yard line. But that Bush in there for the push, don't you? Yep. And he's out there now as a wideout. Liner keeps it. Boy, that's close. They should have kept him in the backfield. He didn't make it. He's about six inches short. He lost his footing at the very end when he tried to push for the second time. Matt Leiner either didn't hear him or was given the option to go for it, but Pete wanted a timeout there, hoping to draw them off sides. That was the plan. Matt had the opportunity, like at Notre Dame, and he went for it. And is rushed one time and picked up two yards. Working out of the spread, hands the ball off to Charles, and Charles ducks a hard shot and then wrestles his way up. He ducked him, saw him, and felt him and got away from him. And same kind of a play, except Young this time keeps it. Tackle, tackle, tackle. At the first down, out to the 35-yard line before Oscar Lua brings him down. Well, the clock's working again, we hope. On first down, Young back looking to throw, pumps it, now lets it go, and it is caught. Caught upfield by Billy Pittman. He got lost in the secondary. He was on the Texas 48-yard line at 442 to go in the first quarter. Young looking around, throws to the sideline, the ball is caught. Beach just coming outside. All these Texas receivers, they're a track team. Ball is carried by Charles. Charles roll backward, the ball is loose. I think Pittman got it. Number five at the bottom of that pile. You don't get any free trips. Time he put the junior back in there at tailback. And Vince Young back to throw. Pressure coming. They miss him. Now he gets it away anyway. And the pass is completed. And uh, I don't know if it was completed or not. He, he, I know that one knee was down over here. He doesn't like to cut that ball to people like this. He gets it up. Gets a lot of air under it. And it's drifting down the sideline and goes out of bounds. So he just... He does a good job with it. He kept it away from Reggie Bush. Got it out of bounds at the 17-yard line. 2-21 to play in the first quarter, and we'll see Reggie on offense coming up. Right as the single back. And Bush comes toward the ball. White gets it. Runs in traffic. Oh, he found something over there, and he went blazing through for nine yards before they brought him down. Yeah. Some others may go, but if they don't, here, look out next year. here comes Reggie Bush. Out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Three wide up. Dominique Bird, the tight end down low here. But the ball goes to Lindell White. And he picks up five yards on that carry. Used for the Trojan picture. Second down and five. Texas showing a four-man front, three linebackers. And the search going on here. Texas reacting very well to the search. The ball taken down after a couple of yards on the play. Drew Cal Liner gets it away. The pass is caught by Bird. The contact was made uh, right about the 45-yard line. And if that mark holds up, it's going to be a first down. We've run out of time in the first quarter. It is seven to nothing. Southern California leading Texas, and they will have a first down. And we'll be back after this message with a word from our ABC station. Yeah. Lindale White now is the beat back for USC. The ball is on their 35-yard line. They lead seven to nothing. We start the second quarter of play. Line it back, pumps not going deep. It's caught. No. Yep. That's Dominique Bird, the tight end. Mason, he's a very fast guy, and sometimes he goes deep. They drop it off, got a little screen action set up for Bush. Oh, look out! Ball fumble! Texas has got it! He's trying to lateral the ball is what he was doing, Keith. He saw a teammate out to the side and flipped the ball out there and played to try to get more out of it.
He was trying to get it back to Brad Walker. He was trailing. He had been able to at six. Yeah, Walker number 18 there. Never expected the ball. So Texas gets a break and will take over the ball at their own 18 yard line here early in the second quarter of play a seven nothing lead for USC and the old turnover has shown up tonight already and Vince Young back to throw has a lot of daylight in front of him and he takes off and Dick goes out of bounds out across the 30 to the 32 and that's the first down for the Gets his pass away. The ball is caught. Pretty good tackle over there by the Trojans. Justin Wyatt on David Thomas. Thomas is the load. He's the tight end. And the guards and center doing pretty good too. Not bad. Sunline's a great play. Ball is thrown over here to this side to David Thomas again. Thomas uh, goes down. Almost lost the ball himself. But it's up. Standing alongside Vince Young. And the Trojan came flying through. And he's saying that Texas lineman moved. And Let's see what uh, David Whitwell says. Offside, USC to the offside call. It's first in time. Young looking. They chase him out. And he throws back across the field. Pass is complete to Brian Carter. Carter will be inside the 30, down to the 27 before Pinkerton can bring him down. Brian Cushing from the SC 27. Young drops back, takes off up the middle. He's finally caught at the 15 yard line by Darnell Bing. Bing. And the ball is at the 15 yard line. First down. Little shovel pass goes to Ramont Taylor, and he's taken down uh, short of the line of scrimmage by Lawan Ramsey. Ball's loose. Texas is going to get it back. Wow. Trojans ran right over the top of it. Oscar Lua came in and knocked it loose. Looking around. Goes down the middle. And it is incomplete. Uh, pretty good size. But he's been steady and he's worked on that leg and he's got enough leg on this one and it's good. That is career long 46 yard field goal for David Pino and the Longhorns are on the board. Ball is on the 35 yard line now. Seven to three. Trojans have the lead and the kickoff. In Texas by Greg Johnson down to the six yard line. Darnell Bing has this one. And the big old safety comes on back out to about the 27 yard line. With uh, 10 minutes to go in the first half here at the Rose Bowl. They win championship with defense. Ball thrown to Smith. Well, it's a heck of a catch by Steve oh. Smith with. After review, the play stands as ruled on the field. It was a completed catch. Kirkman is back in there again as the fullback. Line it throws out here to Dwayne Jarrett. And the lanky one will go up close to midfield before Aaron Ross can take him down. Bird and Davis are both in the ball game. Tight end. And line it gives to Bush. Bouncing to the outside. Cut back into traffic. Runs into trouble. He's taken down in a hurry and uh, the last two Rose Bowl. Kyle Williams is in uh, at tackle, has been at tackle for USC, and there's your first down down to the 40 yard line. And it's keeping it. Wanted to go deep, nobody to throw it to, now it drops it off, and it is complete to Fred Davis, and Davis will get down to about the 32 yard line. Fred, then Fred could provide. <laughs> Look at this. Boy, he just turned on the tips, didn't he? Brandon Hancock banging away, and Lindell White right in his wake, and that's a first down. The Texas side of the field, they lead 7 to nothing. They're threatening. 
Horns come up, puts seven in the box, and Reggie Bush bounces outside, and he's ridden out at about the line of scrimmage. Jarrett Turner Smith. Your catcher's on the field right now for SC. Line it back, lets it go, and it's in the corner, and it is intercepted or knocked away by Michael Griffin. He didn't pick it, I guess. Well, and I watch that right foot. Right on the goal line. Right on the goal line. Thought he was a little short of it, but he's not. Ironically, right that's where the ball was when they threw that pass. Yep. A little longer at six. Great reaction. But the review, there is indisputable video evidence that the pass was intercepted with a foot in the end zone. The touchback, first down, Texas. And you've got six minutes and 50 seconds to play in the first half. And the Longhorns turn away the Trojans. It's so probably a touchdown. Horns will try to run it to Selvin Young working inside the tackles. And he gets something out of it. He's going to have about seven yards. We're going to go out and start moving the ball. On second down and three, Young throws to the sidelines. Pass is caught up at the 42. Move your chain. First down, Texas. Lima Swede, the catch. Keeps it. Sets to throw. Gets it off in a hurry. Just got a little quick pop. And the ball is thrown up to the 45. And the reception by David Thomas, the tight end, rolls close to a first down. Young pitches it outside on an option, and it works with Selvin Young. This possession started back on the 20-yard line. Young's pass thrown to the outside, goes to the tight end, Thomas again. And Thomas goes out on a hard hit by Darnell Bing. That's 520 to go in the first half. Almost got him behind the line of scrimmage. But it is Jamal Charles, the speedster, who takes it inside the Trojan 25. Broke the tackle of Lawan Ramsey and another Texas first down. First down, Texas. Young's got it, gonna run it. Lost the ball. Pitched it out. He pitched it out. Touchdown, and Texas. Touchdown to Selvin Young. I don't know. It uh, looked it, like he might have been down, didn't it, Keith? Yeah, it did to me. I thought he was. But I'm looking at it with binoculars. Darnell Bing almost had him down, but he dropped it off. I didn't know if it was a fumble or a, a pitch. Well, Reggie Bush tried this earlier with disastrous results. Young knows he's got help to the outside. The ball, he's, he's down. down. He's down. They're going to have to check this he's one down. out, take these points off the board. And he was on, on the ground before he pitched the ball. Uh, going to get away Better with it. Kick, kick it quickly. I can't believe they're not reviewing this one. This is huge. Kick is good. No, kick is not good. Nope, missed Sorry. it wide right. Wide right. Kind of like last night. But this shouldn't have been a touchdown. No, should not have been a touchdown. Greg Johnson will kick it off. It's a lot of air under the ball that goes to Bush. And Bush looking for a crack. Gets to the outside and stops the clock at about the 33 yard line. Illegal substitution. SC, SC had 12 men on the field in the huddle. Did not do that. Five yards. Moves the ball back to the 28 yard line. Five yards. The down remains short. Second down and 12. Remember, they had a five yard penalty for illegal substitution. 12 men and a half. Line it. Rolls out and throws, and it's outside. Incomplete intended for Dwayne Jarrett. Right. Third and 12. Longhorns trying to hold him and force the punt. Four minutes to go. There's plenty of time to do some more damage. Run out of time. Yep. Burn the clock. 
Two uncharacteristic mental mistakes Play by the Trojans on this drive. Offense number 11, five yards. The down remains third. Line it down the middle, intended for Jarrett, and defended very well by Michael Griffin. An incomplete, and it's fourth down. Now with Tom Malone, and Aaron Ross is waiting. Malone's got a low one, and it is fielded by Ross. And that low line drive gave him a little room, and he brings it back up the field about 18 yards. And he works at it all the time. On first down now for the Horns, as Young looks around and lets it go deep. And it is incomplete. It was intended for number five, Billy Peckman, who is a speed burner. It would have been accepted had he known who it was, too. They had that chance. Here's Vince Young, wants to run it, gets outside, and the first man didn't get it. The first man didn't get it. It was a good tackler, too, a fellow named Frosty Rucker. Right out. Working out of the spread, Young's pass thrown down the middle. It goes to the tight end, Thomas. And David Thomas will take it down to the 30-yard line, and it's first down, Texas. But the ball is gone. And he hands it this time to Taylor, and Taylor's got the ball, got daylight, and touchdown, Texas! So the Longhorns have exploded in the last 10 minutes of the second quarter. No doubt about that touchdown as it's another broken tackle. SC not tackling worth a darn here in the first half. Point now by David Pino. Right in the middle. Yeah, they always tell the running back, you got to make somebody miss. And then you've got to get help down the field from your wide receivers. Check out Lima Swede, number four here on Scott Ware as he drills him and Taylor walks in. 2.34 to go in the first half of the BCS championship game. Reggie Bush too far in the back of the end zone will not return it. Line it, getting pressure, drops it off to Reggie Bush. Bush trying to run around the corner, can't do it, steps out of bounds. Well, they mark him out, leaving him four yards, so he stepped out. We can't see the sideline from where we are. There's so many folks here. Liner lets it go, and it's a battle that is incomplete. Almost intercepted, Reggie Bush. Ball cannot cause that ball, the ground cannot cause the ball to come loose like that. I thought he had it. But then he did. He had possession when he hit the ground. But anyway, here's uh, the first down picked up as a Reggie Bush. A lot of sandlock going on yards tonight in there. Yeah. Line it. Got nobody to throw it to. Now he's going to just take off and get what he can get and gets it up about the 46 47 yard line from the 10 point lead. And Leonard gives to Bush. Bush is reaching across midfield. And well, he's got plenty of time. Throws the ball down inside the 40 yard line to Dwayne Jarrett. And that at 104 to play. They can get something on the board going to the clubhouse at halftime. They'll feel better about themselves, I'm sure. Leinert's in trouble. Takes off, a lot of room. Now finally tracked down at about the 25. Nine seconds to play, and they've got 25 yards to travel if they want a touchdown. Leinert again, throws inside, ball to Bush. And Reggie goes out of bounds at roughly the 13-yard line. 40 seconds to play in the first half. Bush is on this side. Line it sacked back at the 21 by Ocam. One, two, three, four, five, six of them up there. Leinert steps away, falls down. Nobody to throw the ball to. 
And here you figure it's going to be low when he kicks it from this distance, but he got it off. And he made it. He knocks in a 43 yarder with two seconds to play in the first half. And it's a 16 to 10 ball game. But here's the kickoff by Van Blockham. He knocks it along the ground and it accepted by the receiver back on his knees. And it looks to me like they're just going to take a knee and go to the clubhouse. And that's exactly what they're going to do. So at halftime, it is Texas 16 and USC 10. Time for our Nokia player comparison. Take a look at the two quarterbacks. You can see Vince Young. Only two incompletions in that first half. Matt Leinart struggling of late. Here's Todd. Pete, what do you need to fix at halftime? Well, we, we, we gave a couple opportunities away to him, you know, and we just have to do a much better job of that. We don't normally do those kinds of things. I don't know why Reg fl flipped that ball back. You know, we were in pretty good shape right there. Uh, that, that's the first thing. We got to slow him down. They had a little momentum going with the no huddle thing. Got to slow that thing down. Your quarterback, Matt Leonard, how is he? He's okay. He's okay. He got rocked a little bit, but he's all right. We'll see you in the second half. Holly? I'm here with Mac Brown. Coach, in that midway point through the first half, your team seemed to pick up some momentum. What happened to get that momentum? Oh, Holly, it's a, a great ball game between two great football teams, and I think ours were trying a little too hard. We really stunk the first part of it. We've settled down now, and what a ball game. Should what, be a great second half. What stunk? Well, we fumbled the ball twice, and, and then we laid it on the ground another time when we're going in to score, and uh, we had an opportunity or two on defense we didn't make. But it's a great football team, and we've got to protect the ball better the second half. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Keep. Stay tuned for the Pontiac Performance Halftime Show after this message and a word from our ABC stations. The Horns won the toss so initially and elected to start with the ball in the second half. That's a good kick. It goes two yards deep in the end zone to Ramon Taylor. Taylor coming to the outside. The Trojans went for the middle of the field and bingo, he broke it to the outside and there's a penalty flag up on the 33-yard line. During their turn, holding number 21 on the returning team. Ten yards from the end of the run. First down. That hurts him because it was on the 29. Yeah. Well, time for our city game summary. Pretty balanced for Texas, 121 yards rushing, 113 passing. SC's two turnovers led to nine Texas points. But SC, those both happened deep in Texas territory. Liner's been down three times. Young, not up. Still clean Richard. Keeps it. Started a little option motion, throws a couple of defenders, and turned it upfield and got three yards. Second down and six. Keeps it. Got away from the pressure, throws to the sidelines. There was enough pressure, though, to make him move, and he threw the ball wide of his intended receiver, Lima Swede, and in particular, Vince Young. On third down, down the sidelines, too long. Reggie's back at about the 38 yard line. High kick. Reggie comes up, waves for a catch, and a penalty flag thrown. Long wait. Leonard turns to this side, throws the ball quickly. Jarrett receives it and picks up about six yards. Killebrew brought him down. 13-34 to go. Second down, four. Trojans ball. Lindell White trying gets one of the four. Aaron Harris. And Terrell Brown double back three. Dominique Bird's been quiet tonight. And with him in motion there. Line it straight back, gets it away, gets his first down as he throws to Brandon Hadcock, the fullback, out of the backfield and move your chance. Four man front for Texas. Ball goes. Line it dropping back, throws down the middle. Jarrett's got it. And Dwayne Jarrett will take it down to about the 22-yard line. Coming into this game and had 15 touchdowns. That's a lot. Ball is at the 22 of Texas. Line it up quickly. Throws the ball. It comes this way again to Jarrett. Jarrett will work his way to the 17. Before he's wrestled down by Brown and Huff. And up almost four minutes of this third quarter. Now 
a six-man front. You better hurry up. They're going to get the clock. We burned it. That's the second time in the ball game. What they call timeout? They got timeout on it. Right now they're looking at second down and five. The ball is on the Texas 17-yard line. They're trailing by six points. Ball is handed off to Lindale White. He shakes off Kretler Rudder, goes for the corner of the end zone, and finally got him. Michael Griffin got down around his feet. Or whether Reggie Bush will go to the draw. Maybe depend on what happens here tonight. The Trojans right now get it back to White, and he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown. So now USC with an opportunity if they can convert to take the lead again. Great start defensively for the Trojans to start the second half. Even better start for their offense as White pays it off with two very strong and important runs for the Trojans. Malone is the holder, the putter. Will Collins snaps it. Mario Danello kicks it through. It is 17 Southern California and 16 Texas at 10.36 to go in quarter number three. Lindale White banking it into the end zone, his 25th touchdown of the year. White and Bush collectively 97 combined career touchdowns. Jamal Charles is set back there with Vince Young. And out of bounds he goes. It's almost a body block by Oscar Lua that came down in three. This is Charles. Cuts it back in traffic. Finds a crease. And a fine run. Scott Ware finally brought him down. Little quick pop over here to line the sweep. And he'll have, oh my goodness, about six yards on that play. Running right. Got a block. Got a big block from Pittman over there and runs a, a big play for Texas all the way down to the 35 yard line. Lee Pittman. Throwing down the middle. Got it. It's Lima Swede. And that's another Texas first down at the Southern California 20 yard line. To run it in the middle. That's Charles again. Looked like he was gone, and then all of a sudden he pops up on the other side. Reaches for it. Touchdown. Well, he's got the team on his back, man. Well, we talked about you can be in position. You can have the right defensive call made. You can do everything right. But if you got him one-on-one, -on -one, you're probably not going to tackle him. And that's what happened on that play. He comes right to this point here. Just overpowers the tackler. Stretches out and scores. And so the horns go back to the lead. And here's your try for the extra point from David Pino. Matt Norton, the holder. And it's good. Third lead change of the ball game. Texas 23, Southern California 17, with 8.34 to play in the third quarter. And this is the BCS championship. He's going to give it to him at the five. Hole closes at the 25, and they'll take him down at the 26. Well, he's limited that, at that position. Miner rolls it out. Rose complete to Dominique Bird. And the big old tight end did not go down. He just turned and pounded up the field and picked up a first down. Throws it quickly to Jarrett. Jarrett's hit just as the ball arrives by Aaron Ross. 
Second down, 11. Lost a yard on that pass play. Linux passes away, goes to Steve Smith, and Smith started outside, came back inside, and will pick up oh about six. Ballroom dancing, maybe he had it in mind. Smart guy. Completes the pass for another first down. It goes to Fred Davis. First time Fred seen the ball tonight. Behind though, 23 17. Want to do it again? Down the middle, Jarrett. Couldn't get by that last man. A sure tackle by Michael Griffin, the, uh, the Trojans. Orange bouncing them around. They handle him. Right. This is more in line what you would expect between two offensive powers that average better than 50 points per game all season. Why not throws the ball to Bird? And Bird will get inside the 15. Spins down a yard short of the first down as Michael Huff brought him. Dale White. He is the deep back. Liner kept it. Throws it to Bird. He stepped out of bounds. No, it's uh, Fred Davis. And they'll call it an incomplete forward pass because he was out of bounds. Fourth down and one with White, the deep back. Big play here, folks. Goes to White. Runs up the middle. That'll do it. Touchdown. That's 26 touchdowns of this season for Lindale White. And they now own that combination touchdown record in the NCAA record books. They have 98 now, breaking the old Davis Blanchard mark. And that's Mr. Insiders, as the Trojan fans like to call him, Thunder. Three touchdowns tonight for Thunder. This is to give SC a one point lead. And it's the fourth lead change of the game, the third in this quarter. USC now 24 and Texas 23 with 4.07 to play in the third quarter. Oh, we got one building. The defense, second half, it's all offense. And Markham's kick, another good one. We back. No return. Out of the spread. Throws the Hummer. Caught it. I thought his knee was on the ground when he caught it. Lima Swede. In the game when Selvin Young scored a touchdown. Young running. And he took a pretty good lick that time. That's the hardest hit he's taken tonight. Hope he replaces him. No pressure. Ball thrown and good. Catch is made. But then catches 66 yards tonight. Ball is handed off. To Romox Taylor. And he's tattooed at about the line of scrimmage. Young wants the throw, gonna take off. Look out! All the way to the 20 yard line before Keith Rivers can bring him down with help from Darnell Bing. So oh, it's first down at the 20. Oh, the big guy. Hands it off. This is a loss. And a big one. Had a man wide open. Throws it back across the field. The tackle is made with the reception. Right about the 14-yard line. Josh Pinkert hitting David Thomas. <laughs> Missed that one. Missed both of them to the right side. Thank you so much. Keith, a lot of great ladies here. Sandra Day O'Connor, our Grand Marshal. Keith. Thank you, Todd. And the Trojans back to the attack here. Throw that ball quickly outside. They found some success with that play. And miss from 31 yards. Little pitch to McCoy. And he's got a little trouble over there. There's two Longhorns after him, and they get him. Mike. 
They've entered the backfield of five wideouts. That line it. Quick drop, quick pass. Pass is caught by Dwayne Jarrett. So Jarrett becomes the money man for Matt Leinert. You can see a dog out there. You're right. And as a quarterback, I was always looking for dogs. <laughs> Dumped off to Dominique Bird. And Bird, who has stepped up here in the second half. Bush and White are both on the field. Bush is outside as a wide out to the top of your picture. And the ball goes to Lindale White. And there's your first down. Oh, he has been like an 18 wheeler running downhill tonight. For a champion, he's got another baby on the way, but he told me better timing this year. She's not due till June. Planned it better, did he? This is Bush bringing him out. They won't let him get around the corner. He's been trying all night, and they've been handling him all night. It's second down and eight for the Trojans with the ball across on the Texas side of the field, and here goes White again, and he's pounding now. He's running behind Brandon Hancock. Third and two. Big guy still in there. He gets it. Lindale White inside the 30-yard line to the 26. And he comes. Reggie Bush is your deep back. He gets it. Goes to the outside with it. Oh, it's around the corner. Touchdown. I'm making sure that well, that's not it, it took a while to get those arms up. I'm not sure these officials from the Big Ten have ever seen anybody fly through the air like Reggie Bush can. This ball was designed to go right up the middle. It wasn't there, but this was. Stayed in bounds, airborne touchdown, Reggie Bush. Wow. My goodness. <laughs> you did say wow, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, he hooked it a tad, but he got it in. So it's a 31-23 ball game, an eight-point lead for Southern California with 11-19 to play in the game. 31-23 as the Trojans kick off, and Larkham uh, pops it up. And they get a bounce. Nope. Horns come up and receive it. That's Henry Melton, that big old tailback, coming up. First and ten for Texas. The ball is at the 31, and Vince Young throws the ball. It comes out. Was it a catch? If he came out, and he's ruled a fumble, it'll be Trojan ball. Thrown to Jamal Charles over the middle. They In find the After review, members. the play stands. is ruled on the field. Incomplete pass. Second down and ten. Vince Young looking around. Throws to the sideline. Caught. And out of bounds about the 44. Billy Pittman in the offensive line. And they are good. Ouch. Ball completed down the middle. And it is a first down at the Southern California 35-yard line. Trying to answer. They're down by eight points. Ball is handed off to Selden Young. And Young will get the first down. Big numbers for the infantry tonight. Deep pass to the end zone overthrown. Lima Swede was running under it and Josh. Young takes off. Trojans handled him pretty well this time. He only third down and five. Young's got it. He won't get it. Fumble to the front of, did he turn it over? Well, uh, and hash mark too, wide right. Yep. That's wide. It's inside. It's right down the middle, I thought. It's much. Greg Johnson to kick it off. Not too deep. Taken by Bush. Boy, they handled him pretty rough around the 20-yard line. Lindale White is the deep back. Jarrett's down on this side. White has it. 
Well, Horns jumped on him. But about a yard, maybe. Leinert gets it away. Pass is complete to the fullback, Kirkman. There's a penalty flag back at the 10 yard line. Is he roughing the passer? Could very well be. Yep. Glendale White's in there. He gets it. Up the middle he goes. Well, this trip. That's about the only thing that stopped him from. I did going for it. Jarrett. Touchdown. Two Longhorns hurt on the play. They collided. Wayne Jarrett, six foot five, and made out of old leather and hamstrings. Even though he he takes a whacking in every ball game he plays, but he delivers. Talk about delivering. That's the first touchdown pass in this game. We've had seven rushing touchdowns. Matt Leinart in the second half. 14 of 15 for 182 and that dagger there. Leinert has thrown this ball high to either Mike Williams or Dwayne Jarrett. Both of them 6-5. You can see the collision there as Jarrett stretches out, breaks the plane, and scores for SC. It's 37-26 waiting for the point. That was a little high, but the kick is away, and it was good. So a 12-point lead at 6:42. The 34-game win string is still alive and uh, looking pretty good right now. But the heat next is on the SC defense. Players are sitting here devastated. Their heads are down. Seems like the air just went out of this sideline when that injury occurred. Well, to be blunt about it, it did to the sense in the Brown leaves the game with 10 tackles. From the 31 yard line. Quick pop to the sideline. Pass is complete. It's Lima Swede making the catch. That's 615. And from Quan Cosby, he caught it on his knees, but he was open. Back to him somewhere between here and the goal line. Just, he's just shopping. Yeah, he's afforded the time to, to shop and that quickly. The ball is all the way down on the Southern California 37 yard line. Here comes a blitz. But they got him moving around a little bit. The ball's thrown high. It's up for grabs. And goes down incomplete. When he runs best, he is just this direction. And he's close to a first down. Cedric Ellis tripped him. Trojan's going after him. Ball is thrown at the first down. David Thomas one more time. Three. He's throwing again, throwing. Me. And it goes to Lima Sweet. Second down and four. He's got six yards on that little short pass. Young slips a little. Coming back. There's daylight. Here he goes. Touchdown. Tell you, Keith, never seen anybody like him in my life. No, no have I. Yeah, there have been great scramblers throughout the history of college football but this guy's at the top of the list. Kick good. So it's now on you and they get the ball back. Driving kick taken down at the five yard line by Reggie Bush who's been quiet tonight and no just a half a step. Keith, back to you. Thank you John. Game's on the line right here. As Lindale White is back into the ball game, hard to go down, keeps on fighting with him. Second and seven. 
Little roll out from that. Now throws it. Coming back to the ball. They're going to give him the catch. That's why he won the Heisman two seasons ago. First and ten now. The ball up on the 47-yard line. Lindale White flag. And comes away with three on that dive. Two and a half minutes to play. Trojans lead by five. Lineup drops it up. And it is incomplete. Thrones. They run it with Lindale White. Oh, that's uh, ball come out? No. Oh, good. And Reggie's on the sidelines. But Lindell White's in there. He's the power back. He gets it. He didn't get it. Oh. He gets it, meaning he got the ball. That official right there is marking the ball. And he's marking it short of the first down. Texas football. It's about six inches. Maybe a foot. Half the stadium's going to go crazy. The burn orange side did. So now Texas is going to have the football in the middle of the field, basically. And here comes their man. Ben, you can't keep laying back there in his own, can you? Here comes the blitz. blitz. Dumped off. Rucker makes the play. Oh. Second down and 12. They lost two yards. They've got some pressure on Young. He bounces the ball. In a minute and 35 seconds to play. Watch coming again. They pick him up. He throws to the sidelines. The pass is completed, but it is short of the first down. That's Juan Cosby. And what do they say? A flag comes in, Keith. I think it's going to be a late hit against SC. They get the face mask call. And the question is, is it 15 or 5? Well, if it's uh, if it's five from where they're standing, it's going to be a first down, isn't it? It'll be During the play, incidental five-yard face mask and number 20 defense. The five penalty results in a first down. Yeah. Watch Darnell Bing right there with the left hand. That didn't look all that incidental to me. <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah. It's young throws on a slant ball caught, and that's. The ball comes rolling out. No call. That official there says ball down. That's the call. Minute now. One minute to play. Bing with the hit. He strips the ball later. Too late. After review, the play stands as ruled. It was a catch and down by contact. Second down. 104. We get seven seconds back. Young gonna run with it. Oh, he stepped right through a tackle. My gosh, he just stepped right through the hands of Colin Ashton. Trojans have got to make a defensive play or they're gonna lose. Thrown short underneath. There's a man just wide open. Ryan Carter. They've got a first down at the 14-yard line. Incomplete. They Gonna run it. Gets inside the 10 to the 9. And the clock keeps going. 30 seconds. They've called timeout. But they've only got 30 seconds left. It's up to the Trojan defense now. To preserve the streak. Incomplete. That was a good defensive play on Lima Swede. Fourth and five, the national championship on the line right here. He's going for the corner. He's got it. Vince 
Young scores. As we said, Keith, you can have the perfect defense called. You can force them out of the pocket, but you're not going to beat them. Invincible. Well, like Yogi said, it ain't over till it's over, but it certainly looks like the Texas Longhorns are going to walk out of here, and they're walking out on the words of Mitch Young, who said they were going to prove they were the best team in the country in this game. And right now, they're standing on it. And this is a huge two point conversion to push the lead to three. 4 2. Runs it. And made it. So it's been the Vince Young show when it came to crunch time as Texas goes to a 41 38 lead with only 19 what does that say 19 seconds to play clock didn't move on that play yeah, it's extra point is probably not going to thank goodness for SC Matt's daddy in the crowd knowing it's a tall order to give the uh, Texas offensive line some credit too. Vince Young's thrown 40 passes tonight, zero sacks. He's rushed for 200 yards and three touchdowns. What else can you say? Congratulations. That'll do. Odds on favorite to win the MVP of this game for the second time. Two years in a row, Vince Young putting on a believable show. These two teams coached by two men who have brought a whole new perspective and methodology to the business of coaching I think. Now Reggie Bush will drop back and let's see if they'll kick to it. I don't believe I would. Now I'd put it on the ground put it on the ground. make it difficult to uh, pick up. Put it down there in that open space. Got a lateral back to Rich. No chance. Here we go. They're coming hard. Lineup shoves it ahead to Bush. Got a block. Goes down and out of bounds. Stopping the clock at eight seconds. To eight seconds is not very much. Leinert runs away from the pressure. Now he's got to throw it and throws it high and out of bounds and the game is over. Texas has defeated Southern California 41 to 38 to win the national championship of college football. This is win number 800 for the University of Texas Longhorn. And a classic. Lift up all, to all the hype, all the buildup. Incredible effort by all these young men. Well, Vince Young then stepped beyond the pale. He's out there somewhere by himself. <laughs> I tell you, Keith, nobody has ever had a game like that. And all his teammates had faith in him, knew he could do it. This is Vince Young's team. Great respect they have for each other. Pete Carroll has has done some remarkable things 
since he came uh, back to college coaching and Mike Garrett brought him in as the head coach of the Trojans. He ran off 31 wins and now Mac Brown sits in the catbird seat and here is Todd Harris. Well Pete you told me eventually it would have to come to an end. What was the difference tonight. Well we couldn't stop him when we had to you know we had plenty of chances to and and the quarterback just ran all over the place. He's a fantastic football player and he made the difference you know. He threw the ball well enough but more than that he did it with his legs you know I mean how, how classic was it that he ran it in on the last play so uh, it's a fantastic job by Texas we gave him everything you know we really we really had a shot to win this game and felt like we should have won it but we didn't you know so uh, this is their night you know hats off to, to Mac he did a great job they have a fine football team you know it's, it's been wonderful doing what we've been doing uh, it, it's, it's too bad it has to end but if they, somebody's got to get it they deserve the heck out of it. We give it to Matt. At the very end of the game, you had a timeout. Did you want to save one timeout if they had scored? Yeah, yeah, we had a little problem. On the, on they were there going for two right there. But, uh, you know, we didn't get it done. Thanks, Pete. He's a class act, Keith. Let's send it over to Holly. Guys, I'm here with Matt Leiner. Matt, tell us a little bit about what went through your mind on that last drive for Vince. Um, yeah, you know, he just stepped up. You know, we couldn't tackle him. That's a great player. He showed why he's one of the best players in college football. Tell us a little bit what it's like to go out like this after you came back. Uh, I mean, it's tough, you know, but, you know, we'll move on. It's a great win, a uh, great hard fought, you know, loss, I guess, but, you know, whatever. We still think, well, I think we're a better football team. You know, they just made the plays in the end. Win or lose, a great career, Ben. Six. Well, happiness is reflected in many different ways, isn't it? Hands are raised on the Texas side of the Rose Bowl. And the music flows. For 81 years, one of America's most recognizable images has been the Goodyear blimp. Goodyear providing tonight's aerial coverage. And coming up next, the Built Ford Tough Post Game Show, including interviews and the trophy presentation. Well, the Texas Longhorns in winning tonight against defending national champion Southern California have certainly validated Coach Mac Brown and his program. This is a restatement of Texas place in college football. It washes away the memory of 35 years of seeking since Daryl Royal last guided them to Hallelujah Land. And if you're looking for highlights in this game tonight, you spell them Vince Young. Young set a Rose Bowl record with 467 yards of total offense, breaking the record held by Danny O'Neill of the Oregon Ducks. Well, he danced all night long when he was on the sidelines. He was patting people on the back, jumping up and down, whistling, singing songs, keeping everybody up, and then went out when he had to and did it. It's like talking the talk. You got to walk the walk. Well, he I'm ran it all the way in, didn't he? Sure did. Now, here's John Saunders. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, on behalf of City and ABC Sports, congratulations to the national champion, Texas Longhorn. Here's a Tournament of Roses President Libby Wright to present the trophy. Congratulations for winning the 2006 National Championship game. And now here's Mike Snyder, President of ADT, to present the ADT National Championship Trophy. Coach, Coach congratulations. We have ADT Security Services Worldwide, our 8 million customers, our 40,000 employees, our family of authorized dealers, our parent company, Tyco International, and the American Football Coaches Association, CADT National Championship Trophy. Teenager. 
Talk about what this means to the great state of Texas. Well, with, with saying I'm a, I think you can tell they're all here, John, but first let us thank uh, From all the Texas fans, our staff, and our football program, let's congratulate a great SC football team for 34 straight and two national championships. And then secondly, John, what it means to, we want to thank the Rose Bowl, what it means to us, it's been a long time. There's a lot of passion, a lot of pride. I'm proud of these kids. I'm proud of our coaches, high school football in the state of Texas, but we love our fans and they love it. You having any fun? I'm getting ready to. We now want to hand out the most valuable player award trophies. We're going to start with the offensive player of the game. Is there any question that it is Vincent Young? Yeah, that's yours. Now, Vince, I know we talked when you were in New York, and I know you were very disappointed not to walk off with the Heisman Trophy Award. I think you like that piece of crystal a little better, don't you? Oh, it's so beautiful. Hey, don't y'all think that's beautiful right there? That crystal is so beautiful. And it's coming home to Texas. It's coming home all the way to Austin, Texas, baby. Are you going to be back to try and make it two in a row? Got to work hard and get better, and we'll be back. Wherever we got to go, we'll be back, baby. All right, Vince, congratulations. And now the defensive player of the game in a very offensive-minded game, but Mike Huff, who came up with huge tackle after huge tackle and game saving plays. Your defense was what was talked about before the game, that USC had not seen a defense like yours, and I think you guys proved it tonight. Uh, we knew USC was a great team, had a great offense. I mean, they played hard, they showed us things that we hadn't done before, but in the end, we prevailed. Mike, congratulations. Thank you. And congratulations again to the Texas Longhorns. Right now, let's go back up to Keith Jackson. Thank you, John. There's the agony of defeat, and there's the joy of victory. And I bleed back. I think she's ready to begin. 